Hi, in this video we'll look at how to create a relationship among two or more tables in Microsoft Access. Now, in this video we're looking at using two tables here. We have our items table and we have our shelf table. And if we go to database tools on your menu and then go to the option for relationships here, we'll get a chance to create our relationships among these two tables. But first I'm going to close the tables and we're going to add them here using our show table option. Just right click show table and we can add this items add shelf close. Now we create relationships on primary keys and foreign keys. So what you'll notice in Microsoft Access is you have the primary key identified here by the little icon that looks like a key in both tables. So in items table we have item number being the primary key and in shelf table we have shelf ID which is the primary key as well. Primary keys simply uniquely identify every record in each row. So you'll have a unique shelf ID for each shelf name and uh, same thing for each item you'll have a unique item number as well. A foreign key is simply a primary key that exists in another table. So for example, we have shelf ID existing in both tables here. However, in the items table, shelf ID is known as a foreign key. And so we'll be making this link in terms of forming this relationship based on shelf ID. Shelf ID here in the shelf table is primary key. However, in the items table, it becomes a foreign key. So all we need to do is to click and drag click from shelf ID in the shelf table to shelf ID in the items table and release. So let me do that again. So all we need to do is to click from this shelf ID in shelf table, drag all the way to shelf ID in items table, release the mouse and you now notice that you have uh, your relationship option here. So all we need to do is you can ensure that if there's an error here we can ensure that we we check to make sure it's shelf ID the same uh, field that we're joining both tables. And there's a pretty interesting option we have here for enforcing referential integrity. What this means is that as we do anything throughout our database, whether we update records or delete records, this will be consistent across or it will enforce consistency as it relates to that data that we have updated or deleted across the tables in our database. So we'll go ahead and do that. Enforce referential integrity, cascade update related records, and cascade deleted related records as well. And we can click on create. You'll also notice you have relationship type here which says one to many. This simply means that for each shelf we may have more than one items. Okay, So that's just showing the relationship between your shelf and the items that are located on your shelf. We can have many items located on one shelf. So we have a one-to-many relationship. We can go ahead and create, uh, click on create here to create a relationship and you notice the infinity symbol here on the item side and the one symbol here on the shelf side to represent the relationship type. So once again it's one to many. One shelf to many items. It means that one shelf may contain one or more items. Hope this video helped. You can also right click here to save and it will save the relationship permanently in your database. Hope this video helped you. If it did, please click on the like button, leave a comment and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.